Hey everybody, what's up? It's Snake here, and in today's video we're going to be showing you guys how to create a moving audio spectrum inside of Adobe After Effects. So if you're not familiar, a moving audio spectrum is basically this thing that I have on the screen right here. As you can see as I go back and forth, as it plays music, you see these little bars that move up and down to the tune of the music. And you'll see this typically all over the internet on things such as music promotion channels, where if somebody wants to play a video of a song, they'll usually have this... Uh, visualizer to go along with it so that it's just not a blank picture while the song is playing and so I personally find these completely amazing and I really really like these visualizers or audio spectrums as they're called and so we're gonna show you how to make an audio spectrum and match it up to a piece of audio within Adobe After Effects and bear in mind we're going to be using just what comes with Adobe After Effects so just the stock effects and presets we're not using any external plugins or any external anything for that matter. This is everything that's just built into After Effects. If you want to go out and buy an external plugin to make it have like even cooler visualizers, you can go ahead and feel free to do that. But for the moment, we're just going to be using the base stock presets that come with Adobe After Effects. So to give you guys a little example of what we're doing, I made this little composition right here and I chose a song that was a bit out of control and dirty and has a lot of bass to it. So I'm going to play you guys the preview right here in RAM Preview and I'm going to show you basically one of the effects that you can achieve. Yeah, so as you can probably tell, that track was a bit out of control and it was very bass heavy. And you could tell that in the visualizer itself. And I chose that just as an example because it definitely got my point across as to what a visualizer or an audio spectrum is. So we're going to go over the basic process of how to do this. And then I'm going to show you some tricks that you can do to make it look a little bit better. So I'm just going to create a new project and I'm not going to save this one. So once you're in a new project, the first thing we're going to do is create a new composition. And I'm going to make my 1920 by 1080 just because I can. And for the sake of this, I'm just going to leave the duration at that amount of time. And we're definitely not going to be using a five minute example, but we're just going to keep that the way it is. And we have our base composition right here. So the first thing you want to do is go up and create a new solid. And once you do that, we're just going to make this the background. So it's just BG for background and you want to make it black. So there's just our standard black background. And then the next thing you want to do is create another black solid and we're going to name this audio. And this is going to be the layer that has our audio spectrum on it. Now, if you want to make an audio spectrum, you need to have a piece of audio to go along with it or else this won't work and that will completely defeat the purpose. So for this, I'm just going to use this track right here. It's The Salvation Code by Scandroid, which you can download at the link that I'll provide in the video's description. And both of the pieces of music that I use for this tutorial, I'll have in the link in the video's description, and you can download those if you want to. So I'm just going to import this little piece of music right here, and we're going to drag it onto our timeline. And it doesn't really matter where you put it. I'm just going to keep it at the bottom because, you know, it's a piece of audio, and this is a visual program, and we're not really going to be touching this layer that much. If I press LL, you can see the waveform right here, and this is the waveform of the actual song. And this is going to be somewhat reflected within our visualizer, so just to keep that in mind. So we're going to go back to the audio layer right here, and then we're going to go to Effect, Generate, and Audio Spectrum. You may be thinking Audio Waveform, but for this tutorial, we're going to be choosing Audio Spectrum. Now, the difference between a spectrum and a waveform is that the spectrum it correlates to the different frequencies within a track. So it will match and make the bars according to the different frequencies within the track. And you can view those by going to right here and you can change them as well. So we have the starting frequency at 20 and the ending frequency at 2000. And if we scrub through the track, you can see nothing happens. So why does nothing happen? I have these bars, but they're not moving. And the reason for that being is that we have this effect applied to the black audio layer, but we don't have any audio paired to it right now. So in order to change that, go up to here where it says audio layer and make that to our audio layer. So now, as you can see, I paired it to the salvation code. And as you can see, if I scroll through it, now you get these little bouncing bars that kind of look like they're flashing. 
And this looks nothing like that audio spectrum that I showed you before. So we're going to change that and show you all of the different things that you can do with this. So for right now, I'm going to choose to change the outside and the inside color. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to make it white because I don't really want to be showing you guys with a pink visualizer. So now we turned it to white and now we're going to start messing with these options right over here. So here where it says frequency bands, this makes it so you can choose how many of the different lines that we have. So I'm going to just crank that up and I'm going to give ourselves a ton of lines. So maybe a bit more. So yeah, now we have a ton of lines right here and the maximum height will basically change how high the visualizer will actually get. But bear in mind, when you're gonna change the maximum height, find the point in the song where the waves peak the most because if you try and change it on a low piece of the track like this and then you crank the maximum height all the way up, later on through the song it might even clip past the range of our box so it might even go off frame. So just keep that in mind. The audio duration basically will make it how make it so you can choose how long these different bars decide to stay on the screen. You can choose it to be really fast or you can choose it to be really slow. And those are just different options that you have to mess around with. So the audio duration and the audio offset, that's up to you to just play around and see what fits better to the particular piece of audio that you're using. Thickness will make the lines a bit thicker. So as you can see, that's extremely thick. Now it's kind of starting to glow, but I'm gonna keep it to around here, which looks pretty good. And you can also adjust the softness. So as you can see, now it's not soft at all. Now it's way too soft. And I'm gonna keep it just like this, where it has no softness and it's fairly thick. So that looks pretty cool. And of course you can change the colors, you can change the hue interpolation, but we're not gonna mess with that. And one of the options we're gonna choose with down here is the display options. So you can choose to have it as a digital display. And this is the digital display you're seeing right now, these little digital lines, but you can also choose to make that analog lines, which make it look kind of like this. And it looks kind of like a heartbeat monitor. So maybe if you wanted to do something where you made a heartbeat monitor for a film, you could actually get a clip of audio from a beating heart and then match it to the audio spectrum. That might be an idea of something that you can do with it. And another, the third option down here is analog dots, which looks like this. Now it looks like dots instead of a waveform and that looks pretty cool you could probably do some pretty awesome things with that but for this tutorial i'm just going to keep it on digital because that's what i happen to like now the side options as you can see here we have an option for side a side b and side a and b side a and b is what it defaults to and it basically makes it so the video the spectral whatever thing of a doohickey i completely forgot what i was saying goes up and down on both of the sides like this if we choose side a it'll only make it reflect to one side. So as you can see now, the visualizer only goes up and down on the top. And if we choose side B, it'll go up and down on the bottom. But I just wanna choose side A for the hell of it. And that is the basics of how to use the audio spectrum. Now, there are tons of things that you can do with this and tons of different ways that you can customize it because all you need to do is play with the different combinations that are in this window over here. So just mess around with the settings, for the specific piece of audio that you're using and you'll come up with something that looks pretty awesome. But for now, this is what it looks like. And if I just choose a small little section to RAM preview, I'll show you what it looks like when we RAM preview it. Yeah, so as you can see, it's all jumpy and the lines over here directly go with the bass line and the drums. And that has to go along with the way that the frequencies work. So each part of the song is a different frequency. So if you want to boost up a specific part of the song in the visualizer, that's where you change it on the frequency. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start messing around with this and I'll come back to you guys when I have a decent looking visualizer. So uh, I'll be right back. Okay, and so this was just me messing around for a little bit, and I think this looks pretty cool, so let's preview this. The 
Yeah, so as you can see, that looks completely different from what we did before, and all I did was change a few little settings over on the side. So it's really all up to how you change the settings over here in the side panel, and then you can use that to create whatever kind of audio spectrum that you want to. So that's the basics of how to do it. That's the basics of how to create one of these little audio spectrums right here. And so the last thing that I'm going to show you for this tutorial is I'm going to show you how to basically do the same exact thing, but I'm going to show you how to make it around a shape or more specifically a circle because I think that while this is cool right here this is a cool way for a visualizer I think that it would look a lot cooler if it was going around in a circle and you had your logo popping up in the center and I actually posted a video on Instagram earlier this week about me taking my logo and putting a visualizer around the edges of it so I thought I'd go over how to do that for you guys so I'm just going to delete this audio spectrum effect from our audio layer and I'm going to start over again so I'm here on my audio layer and I'm going to add in another instance of the audio spectrum effect right here and I'm going to change the colors to white just because I can I'm going to parent it to the salvation code as you can see right here and I'm going to change it to have a bit more frequency bands and I'm going to change the maximum height just a little bit and now we have our audio spectrum right here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I'm selected on this layer once again and I'm going to grab my ellipse tool and we're going to make a mask in the middle so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and click this button right down here I'm going to choose to show the title action safe which is going to basically bring up these guidelines and I'm going to go towards somewhat in the center and I'm going to hold down command shift and option and for a PC it would be control alt and shift and what that'll do is that'll let me create a circle from the given point that I've clicked so I'm just going to make it we'll go with this big and then I'm just going to hide the title action safe just because I can and now we have a circle and the audio spectrum is within that circle so what if I want to make the audio spectrum go outside of the circle well to do that we're going to go over here to where it says path and we're going to change that to mask one and as you can see it comes outside of the circle which is actually what I wanted and it's pretty freaking cool what it looks like but as you can see as I've deselected the mask if we go through it you can see the audio waves are doing its thing but they get cut off at the edges of the mask and if I hover over this you see I have this little box and essentially what's happening is the waveforms are getting cut off by the mask in order to change that it's actually a really simple fix you want to go down here to where the mask is under the layer and you want to change this to none and then there you go it's not restricted by the mask anymore and now as we go through this as you can see the audio spectrum is going around the circle and you can change that up and do everything that you want to play with the settings just as you would before in order to get the spectrum that you want so I'm just going to change that to side B so it goes only around the outside of the circle and I think I'm going to give it a lot more frequency bands just like that and now let's see what we've done And that's the basics of that. So you can also parent them to a mask in order to make the audio spectrum have kind of a weird and different shape to it. And there's many different things that you can actually use this effect for. And it's really awesome. And I thought it was really cool. So that's how you do the audio spectrums within Adobe After Effects. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you a lot for watching. And if you want to check out something else that you can do with using these audio spectrums, I was watching a video of um, videocopilot.net and they showed how to do this advanced spin effect and they actually made the particles using the audio spectrum and that was partially my inspiration behind doing this tutorial. So I'll just show you the final product that he managed to come up with. And part of that was using the audio spectrums built into After Effects. So I thought that was really cool and that was basically my inspiration behind this. So I'd like to say thank you a lot for watching once again and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later.